come this far, I want to congratulate you because you've accomplished a great deal of things so far. Let's recap. Shut up, money. Yeah. You've generated leads and you've pre-qualified those leads and or you've called those leads and you've converted some of those leads into property deals for your business. You've then started marketing that property deal and you've got a tenant buyer that has come in, showed interest in the property deal, and you've pre-screened them according to the parameters that I gave you. And you've also had a check done on them using mysmartmove.com, a transunion company. So you have a full tenant screen done on them and a background check. Now it's time to close the deal. It's time to get the <laughs> shut up money. This is one of the easiest steps and also one of the most exciting steps in the entire process because now is when you're going to marry the homeowner and your tenant buyer together. You're going to assign your agreement over to the tenant buyer and you're going to get paid for that and you're going to walk away. So congratulations for coming this far. Now I bet you're wondering how to do the paperwork. So check it out. I'll go through the documents line for line and show you exactly how to fill them out, who fills out what, and and all that stuff so don't worry about that it's all taken care of but one thing i want to point out is that you need to do these things in a specific order so it's very important that first of all you have your agreements filled out and you present the information which is the tenant application and your background screen and tenant screen to the homeowner and allow them to approve this tenant buyer if that's the agreement that you've made with the homeowner that they are in the driver's seat, they're the boss, they can approve or disapprove, then you'll wanna put those things together, the application, the tenant application, and also the background screen, the tenant screen from mysmartmove.com, put them together in an email and send them to the homeowner or, and then call the homeowner and confirm with them. They receive the documents, have a discussion about the tenant buyer and get a yes. If you need the homeowner's approval in this step, now is the time to get it. And if the homeowner has given the approval, or if you did not require the homeowner's approval, then it's time to get started with the tenant buyer side of the paperwork here. Have the documents uploaded into your email signature program, dot loop or DocuSign or HelloSign, and then send them to the tenant buyer for signatures first. It's very important that you do this because along with their signatures, you're also going to request the payment of the non-refundable option fee, which is your paycheck. That's your shut up money. So make sure you have the tenant buyer fill out the paperwork first, sign it, and send the money. Once those things are accomplished, then you can send to the seller for signatures, okay? Have the seller sign it then. And then you can sign it and finalize the entire deal and make sure at this point that they know how to contact one another and that they know how to exchange keys and get the deal done and any monies that the tenant buyer is paying directly to the homeowner that that's all taken care of at the same time so remember right now is when you're closing things up so make sure all monies go where they're supposed to go and make sure all signatures get signed on all documents that are required we do have all the documents right here in this module and we also have an explanation video so go check that out so anyway go check that stuff out dive in this is the funnest part this is where you get your money so do things right, do them in the right order, and do them now. Shut up.